Hey you all, I thought this time I would share to you share with you how I dye my hair. In one of my recent videos, I mentioned that I dye my hair about every two weeks. And after I said that and made the video and in the process of making the video, I thought, hmm, some people are gonna say she dyes her hair every two weeks. Oh my God, that is too much. Her hair is going to fall out. You know, that is, that's too, that's, you know, you're putting the chemicals in your hair. She's putting the chemicals in her hair too often. So I had already had some footage on how I actually dye my hair. And with that in mind, I decided to go ahead and I'm going to post this video showing and demonstrating how I dye my hair. I just want to walk you through the steps and, and you will see the clips of me dyeing my hair, what it looks like, okay, when I'm in the process. It's going on right now, all right? It's gonna be going on right now. But I want to just tell you also what I do. So, the first thing I do is that the night before, I use a paper bowl. You know, I don't use plastic bowls. They probably work just as well, maybe. And I don't think you're supposed to use aluminum, but you can use glass. The next best thing will probably be glass, but I use paper bowls. And in that bowl, I use, I add henna. So yes, I henna my hair. So I add the henna and it's a powdery substance. And in my bowl with the henna, I add water. And then I add a little bit of vinegar. I can't tell you exactly, cannot tell you exactly how much vinegar I add. I would just say that I add a dash of, of vinegar. Maybe I add about maybe one teaspoon, maybe at the most of vinegar. Then I stir the mixture. I'm always stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. When it is like a cake-like batter, cake batter texture, and it's kind of smooth, you know, it's just like the frosting actually, then I say, okay, it's done. I wrap my bowl in plastic. I let it sit like plastic wrap and I let it sit overnight. The next day I wash my hair and I use um, Castile soap to wash my hair. I wash my hair and then I take my henna. I use my perm brush to apply the henna on my hair, on my freshly washed hair, okay? I section it and I apply it in all the sections at the roots. I wait about, I would say about two hours with the henna on my hair. I wear a bag on my hair to keep the henna from getting everywhere, number one, and number two, to help the, my hair absorb the henna. So I wait, well, in that, those two hours, I'm doing other things. I'm maybe editing a, editing a video. Maybe I'm writing a blog article, just various things in the house. Once the two hours are up, and sometimes I only let it, I have let it stay on my hair for only one hour and it worked just as well, but I like to, I like to leave it on there for two hours because I'm usually involved in another activity, some, you know, blogging or editing a video or something, and I get carried away with the henna still in my head. In any case, after the two hours are up, 
I rinsed the henna out of my hair. My hair has now been colored orange. And I mean bright orange. I'm trying to look around to see if I see anything that's the bright orange of my hair. But I do not see anything around me that's the bright orange. So you have to, you know, so you can have to trust me that it's bright orange. If I have that clip, video clip of my hair orange, I'll show it to you. But the hair everywhere where the henna has stayed on my hair, it is a bright orange. The first time this happened, I was quite alarmed to say the least. I was alarmed, I was shocked, and I was scared. I was very frightened. But now I know that that's just a part of the process and your hair probably should turn a bright orange. It's even if you are, even if you have dark hair, my hair is light at the roots, hence why I'm dying it. After my hair turns the bright, I rinse my hair out, it's the bright orange. Then I go and I prepare the second product that I use on my hair, which is pure indigo, which is, and it's also a powder. The henna and the indigo, they're both, they're both, I guess I should say distributed by the same company, okay? So I take another bowl and I pretty much the same process. I add water. I add warm water to, you know, you the both the henna and the indigo, I just use warm tap water. So I add in some water. I add my I add enough indigo just like the henna how much? I add enough to cover my full head. Well, we yeah, have my full head, the roots, but I concentrate it in the front. So I just add enough so that I know, okay, this is enough to cover my head. Now I'm saying just the roots. I don't, I don't add the product to the length of my hair, only the roots. So I, I get the henna, I mean, I get the indigo, water, a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, for both apple cider vinegar and then I mix it. Now I don't use, I'm, I'm careful now by using a lot of vinegar because I think that the vinegar could very well cause tenderness in your head. It doesn't burn, but it might cause tenderness in your hair because it is vinegar. So I don't use very much vinegar in my, in my hair as I mentioned before. So same thing. I mix the indigo with the water and vinegar until it's also a creamy texture okay now sometimes now the henna it will turn like a brownish color the indigo it's either green or it actually turns like a black color okay so now rinse the henna out of my, the henna has been rinsed out of my hair. Remember, it's orange. So once that's rinsed out and everything and I have the indigo mixed, I add the indigo to the roots of my hair. So I add that to the roots now. And I let the, now the indigo, I allow that to sit on my hair for maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Usually I go an hour with that in my hair because I'm ready for the process to be over <laughs> at this point. I rinse the indigo out of my hair after the hour is up. Sometimes it's a little longer. Sometimes it's an hour and a half, sometimes even two hours. I think the last time when I added the indigo in my hair, I did have it in my hair for probably about maybe two hours because I was doing a lot of things. So that's basically it. Once the indigo is has been applied, the hours pass and it's rinsed out, the roots of my hair will be jet. Well, actually it's like a soft black. To me, it looks like a soft natural black. 
okay but on camera it really does my hair really does look jet black jet black now if the indigo is what dyes your hair the black color you can play around with indigo and a little henna and a little bit of the indigo and your hair will not be orange it'll be more of a reddish color even uh like a brownish color but you will have to play around with it to get the right mixture of color i have sometimes i wanted my i wanted my ends to be a little bit browner so in the light my hair the ends of it is kind of brown well it's pretty brown it's like a light brown or yeah it's like a light brown and I did that by, you know, as I mentioned, I add a little bit of indigo in the henna and then I just put it on my ends and let it stay on there for a little, you know, not for a little while, for like an hour or so, at least an hour. And my, and it did, you know, I was happy with the color. It did not look orange in my hair. <laughs> Thank goodness. So that is basically it. That is the process for how I handle my hair. Like I said, I, I, and it's, it is a natural product. Oh, I have to say these things. Here are my disclaimers about the henna. If you do decide to henna your hair, please know that you are not going to be, you should not put any box, any store-bought dye in your hair. You have to let after the henna. You have to let the henna grow out before you dye your hair. So if you henna your hair at the roots, you have to wait for your hair to grow out all the way. And I, I heard that this is, if you don't do this, your hair might turn like a green color or you might find that the dye won't work. It won't take in your hair. Okay, and it's, it has something to do with how the henna adheres to your hair. But henna is a natural product. It doesn't burn. It's not the same as putting peroxide or anything else like that in my hair. It is plant-based. So I feel comfortable dyeing my hair every two weeks with the henna, definitely. And that's one reason I do it because my roots grow out so fast that I mean I if I can't use the box product every two weeks, you know, and my hair is growing out, growing out, growing out, and I want to dye it. So that's one reason why I use the henna. And I would just continue to use the henna. So think of I would think of, I have in my mind that henna is a pretty much permanent decision just like locks could be a permanent decision okay could be i know you can comb out your locks and everything you can also just cut your locks off henna is the same thing you can cut the henna out <laughs> if you're not happy with it you can cut it out but other than that it will be difficult to dye your hair with the store-bought store-bought products traditional hair dye after dyeing your hair. So please be certain that that is what you want to do if you do use henna. Okay, and that is my lecture for today. <laughs> I do hope that you enjoyed this video. You enjoy my explanation and demonstration of how I use henna in my hair. I love the results from using henna and that is one of the reasons why, you know, I have no problems with continuing to use it and not using the, you know, the box products in my hair. The store bought box products, although you can get henna like as a, you know, in a box, but I'm saying like the regular Dr. Lovely and other products that you know that people used to dye their hair i used to use um oh gosh it was like called nature and something i think it was revlon so i used to use um revlon for years and years and years until i finally decided to 
hint of my hair when I realized it was just growing too fast for me to, you know, I keep dying and dying and dying. You know, that was really damaging my hair. All right. I hope that you liked it again. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment. Goodbye, everyone. Thumbs up if you like this video.